Okay, so I finally remembered that when I am filming a YouTube video without my tripod that I need to keep the phone horizontal because the other video I did, which uploaded really fast by the way, which validated that my internet speed from Cox is really slow, um, but it went this way and it didn't, it didn't look right. But so I'm doing horizontal. Sorry, I don't want to make you all dizzy, but I'm going to sit here because I love my view. I think I've shown you my office before, but it really is my happy place. Um, I love art. I love the opportunity to share art with my clients to encourage them. But so I just want to give you an example of my day. Um, today is Friday, March 18th, and I've been working at reducing my client load because it was getting to the point of seven or eight clients, and that was that's way too much for me. Um, I see my clients for about 15 minutes, and um, then I have maybe 10, 10 minutes in between clients, but what ends up happening is sometimes, you know, if the client is really struggling, I'll go right to the hour, and so then I don't really have a break. But today was pretty easy for me. Um, I saw a 10 a.m., an 11 a.m., and I had a lunch break at 12, which was great. I've been in incorporating lunch breaks because I'll teach my client self-care, and then I don't do it. Um, sorry, I have to switch hands, sorry. Um, and then I had a one o'clock, a two o'clock and a three o'clock. And so that's, um, that's a pretty good day for me. If I could, I would actually love to get to the point where I, um, only see four clients a day. And the reason is I'm going to turn so you can see my other art. <laughs> I'm being very strategic. Um, the reason is because I feel that when I only see four, maybe five, I can be really present with my clients and I really want that. I think if you're a therapist, a life coach, a nutritionist, somebody that's working one-on-one -on -one with people, you have to really be present. And there are some therapists that kick butt and they see seven, eight, nine clients a day, not me. Um, I also think it's really important to value and respect my energy, my space, because if I don't take care of myself, if I don't uh, value my time, my energy, then how can I teach my clients to do that? Um, I'm also gonna turn again, because I wanna show you. <laughs> it's my window. Um, what else did I want to say? I think I talked also about, isn't that cool? A client made that. I think I also talked about how I want to start, I might do another video on grief because I feel like there was so much more to say about it. Um, David Kessler is amazing, by the way, in terms of explaining about grief and the stages of grief. And the main stage that I think is the most important stage is um <clears throat> excuse me, giving meaning to grieving. So finding meaning. But also what he talks about is letting people know that, you know, while grieving may never end, but it doesn't mean that your life has to end. That I think was the main point of my last video. Also, what's been coming up for me a lot is um, body issues. A lot of people have body issues, particularly women, but some men too. And how much we separate ourselves in a negative way from our bodies. And by that, I don't necessarily even mean disassociation, but how we talk to our bodies as if it were the enemy. So I would like to do a little bit more research on that and, um, yeah, make a video about that. But I'm going to get going because it is running late. I'm done. And I just wanted to say hi. I... I just like these short little videos and thanks again to everybody for just hanging out and subscribing and um, if you're an Anna Runkel follower, hello, because you know how much I love her. And if you haven't, check out David Kessler and I did check out, I think his name is Patrick, God, I forgot his last name, but I watched the interview of him and Anna the other night, and I want to start watching more of Patrick. I think that's his name. I just want to learn more. I feel like there's so much out there to learn, and while graduate school to become a mental health counselor was good, 
I feel like the best education out there right now is from real people with real experiences in trauma, specifically, yeah, really trauma. I think there's only so much that you can learn out of a book, not to say that people that are in graduate school or professors don't have their own trauma. I think everybody does, but especially, like I said, with Anna um, Runkel, aka the crappy childhood fairy, she just... I think one of the reasons why she's able to tell her story so well is because she's experienced it. I also think she's just a really good speaker. Like when I watch her videos, she rarely like, even now, like I'm, she rarely like ever, um, what's the word, stumbles over her words. I'm always like, are you reading a script? But she doesn't sound scripted. She's just so eloquent. So shout out again. Anna Runkle, thank you. Um, I can't believe I didn't even know about her a month ago. All right, I'm going to go. I'm... I'm talking. I'm babbling. All right, guys. Bye. Take care. I'll get my internet back at home. (laughs) Hopefully. Cox, thank you. Namaste with one hand. Bye.